Ladies and gentlemen, the Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell has lent his weight to the argument whether the AI bubble is a bubble or is just a sustainable bull run. And I think it's important for us to hear from him because he's a very wise man and he has got all the data points. So let's watch on, shall we? So in an interesting statement, Jerome Powell actually lent weight to the argument whether artificial intelligence and the dot-com, are they similar or are they different? And he gave an economic reality check on today's artificial intelligence revolution. So luckily for us, Jerome Powell said that AI is not the next dot-com bubble. That's a good news. So I think uh, basically, in a nutshell, he says that today's artificial intelligence boom is based on real earnings, infrastructure growth, and productivity, and it is not a hype. And I don't think he need to sugarcoat it. So he says uh, in a way that a call a spade a spade. And I also think he is correct. So uh, he rejects basically the claim that uh, the AI is a bubble. And he thinks that structurally is very different from the dot-com crash of 2000. And therefore, it is a new economic era. And I like to say it is a big economic renaissance. So Jerome Powell core statement is this, that this is different. These companies, AI-driven companies, actually have earnings and real asset. Unlike, unlike the dot-com days, where a lot of them just have hot air, right? No revenue, just subscribers growth and uh, a lot of belief and just a futuristic uh, picture, right? This AI investment now rests on very profitable giants, not speculative startup. These are big companies, not small companies. So in the year 2000 and be before that, the companies were selling dreams, future, but nothing, no money, nothing. And a lot of people believe in it. But year 2025, they are actually selling power, productivity, innovation and real cash, real money. They got real money coming in. Five reasons why the AI and the dot-com bubble is not the same. Because this time, it is real profits. They are cash-generating leaders and not hype. And uh, we also are seeing huge tangible asset, not some dot-com website whatsoever. There are a lot of chips that are manufactured there are a lot of data centers as provided. And it is not just in the tech sector. Many companies, including even miserable Mr. Lu, little bits of company here and there, we are all rushing to embrace AI in a massive way for fear that we'll be left behind. And AI is very, very disruptive, okay? And adding more and more value, power, money to all businesses that are rushing to embrace it. I enjoy so much upside from... Uh, AI right now, I could get rid of uh, un unprofitable, unproductive uh, staff, unprofitable product lines easily, and uh, we could quickly embrace and uh, increase revenue. So these are real, 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 okay, real tangible benefits, and we can measure GDP economic impact, and that's great, right? So, and of course, this time around, there are stricter financial governance monetary discipline and regulation and not just selling hot air. So maybe here, I just want to do a short uh, a digression and commercial. I am very proud that the Retire with Confidence course where in this course, we share people how to, how to retire confidence and I develop strategies to help uh, you know, future retirees. You know, it could be 10, 20 years from now they retire to achieve ten to $20,000 monthly retirement income. Well, I'd like to proud to say that uh, that many of our course mates have, have attended and did build huge confidence, and I'll show you in a short while. But the next course is opening up on the 13th and 14th of November, Okay, which means these two nights we'll be running this course from 7.30 to 11 p.m. And I'll just say that this is funded by the government, so you don't need to come out with cash at all. I, mean, I think you need to come up with cash, uh, but they'll refund you uh, later. And uh, please scan this website. But let me show you some interesting insight. So before the course, I did a survey. 46% of the course mates set their retirement target at 
10,000 and above, right? 46%. After the course, eight more than more, about double of them set $10,000 a month as, as and above as their target. I use the word and above as their target. So it's almost doubling of uh, the course made because they now know a new skill that can help them reach there. And more importantly, before the course, very they set a target, but no confidence. Only 25% are confident of hitting their target. But after the course, 77 are confident of hitting the target. So this is a real numbers. I just want to show you. So do join us, scan this QR code. You'll jump to a Telegram website. We will launch it there at 10 p.m. tonight. Okay, tonight is a Sunday night, 2nd of November. And you can conduct, you can enjoy the course, attend the course at a comfort at your home, 7.30 p.m. to, uh, to 11 p.m. Uh, on these two nights. So join us. Let's go back to the video. So back to the five reasons. We now have reason number one. These are profitable leaders, not hype. Well, in the year 2000, dot-com era, 80% of the dot-com companies were unprofitable. A lot of them were, don't even have earnings. That means zero earnings. Now, in the AI era, this is talking about $50 billion of annual revenue. If you just take a look at uh, the top few companies, and there's a 20% revenue growth supporting this market cap. So this is real numbers. And compared to what it was, now we have data centers, semiconductors, cloud infrastructure. They're not paper valuation anymore. You can put numbers to it. And NVIDIA, TSMC are expanding capacity like crazy. <clears throat> Meta, Microsoft, Binding and Energy Plant, and this actually create huge jobs, infrastructure, construction, utilities, logistic, huge uplift to the economy. At this juncture, productivity gains are already very visible. So there's a GDP growth uh, already where we can see and uh, lots of cost reduction uh, and uh, increase in productivity in many companies. Unlike dot-com days, AI really improved operational efficiency today. And as another reason is their sectorial integration. In 1990s to 2000, they are just isolated in the dot-com companies. And therefore, you know, this is not countrywide, global-wide kind of, uh, of expansion. But in 2025, AI is no longer... You know, concentrated in a few companies now spread out across the world. Every company across the world now rushing to embrace AI in a massive way. It's embedded in many, many functions, financial, manufacturer, healthcare, public sector, law, legal, corporate development, everything. Everyone is rushing to AI. Even miserable Mr. Lu is rushing to AI with small companies. So AI is the major source of economic growth across industries right now. I quote Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve Chairman. Now, if the Federal Reserve Chairman is saying that it is a major power, I think we should take it seriously. Right now, we are seeing that the monetary authority across the world, especially the Federal Reserve, are not you know, having loose money policy. So in 1999, 2000, there were low interest rates fueling irrational exuberance in the financial market. Now the cost of borrowing is very high at 4%. Despite having such high interest rate, there is a lot of people still fueling it. And the real rate of returns are very high. So financial governance is there, yet you know, we have massive growth. So there's a lot more comfort. So now there are critics to Jerome Powell's response. And basically, a lot of people are arguing that the AI companies right now has a lot of uh, a, a lot of uh, danger because they are just too expensive, right? So, uh, and there are some AI startups not listed yet, but uh, they do have low or no revenues and that's a serious matter. So, Jerome Powell's counter-argument is this, that there is concentration risk uh, in NVIDIA and a few tech startups, but the earnings justify the market capitalization and this AI boom is real productivity growth and not speculative mania. Just to put some numbers to it, in the dot-com days, the average price earning ratio, that means you take the uh, price of a company, divide the earnings, was 120 times. It takes 120 years to get back the kind of uh, revenue uh, that the company is earning. Now it's 35. It's high, 
but not unreasonably high like the, the, the old days. Only 18% of companies in 1999 were, un, were profitable okay, for more than three years. But now the AI has built 92% of uh, companies in those AI-centric uh, companies are, are really profitable. And CAPEX as a percent of revenue is very low in the dot-com days, but this time it's very high. And the contribution to GDP is very high right now at 2%, where in the past was more minimal. Now, there is a labor paradox, which I will talk at length tonight in a live stream. But this is an unusual case where we've got incredible economic boom, which with lower employment. And this is a serious problem. I think it deserves a video and a live stream by itself. I'll talk about it tonight. Please join me. So what's the investor implication? Well, I think that, you know, there is risk, but it's not the same type of risk. So we're not looking at immediate bubble bursting kind of risk. Uh, but however, you know, this is a time that maybe just to make sure that we are safer, we spread out our investment. There are people who write to me and just say, Mr. Lu, can I invest in NVIDIA now? I was like, why didn't they invest in it one year ago or two years ago? And right now when it's sky high, they believe that it can go even higher. I don't doubt that. But I also think that the risk of it exploding is high. Why don't you spread out all your, all your investment instead of betting on one? That's very dangerous, right? So, uh, I, but I'm not, I cannot tell you whether you should or should not, but I say I won't, okay? So, uh, and the other one is that uh, I think it is important to monitor just in case from today, while it is not yet an euphoria of a dot-com type level, it may grow to one. Right, it may grow to one in one year, two year, eight months, whatever. Right, so we still got to watch over and be careful. Well, the verdict is this: the dot com era, they sold dream a dream, and it became a nightmare. Here, the AI era, artificial intelligence era, they deliver real results. So that's why Jerome Powell say it is different. It is not a bubble, but a realignment of capital towards intelligence as an infrastructure. That's interesting. So therefore, uh, I would, I, I already deeply embracing it. I would do what I always preach, you know, ride the wave, you know, rebalance re, uh, some of the assets as the, as the wave goes up and, uh, and just, you know, exercise prudence while we enjoy this bull run. Okay. Let me know what do you think. I'll see you in the live stream tonight. Bye-bye.